Hello, can you watch us for you, buddy? Not today, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy, how are you? Good, man. Got a bell for you? No, not today. Peddling Street, Chinatown, Kuala Lumpur. I actually need a new pair of sunglasses, but these guys are pushing hard. Like I can't stop and just say, hey, you know, I check this out, I wanna look at this. They're just Yeah, everything's a hard sell here. I'm kind of like, hey man, you know, I'd buy something from you if you just shut up for a minute. Well, that was Peddling Street. I can only take so much of that. <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of cool if you want to go shopping. My bags are full. I don't have room to take in all kinds of stuff back. Anyway, I'm in Kuala Lumpur. I'll try to find something else to do around here. Now I've lost my hotel, so I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> I'm always lost, man. Just go with it.
All right, so here's a new one. Yes, they have a watch. Here's a new one to me. So the dad came here to Malaysia. I had a flight out of Koh Samui, and I had to fly to Bangkok, then go from Bangkok to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And then once I got there, the airport's about a half an hour by train away from Kuala Lumpur. So I had to get on a train, which didn't take me to where I needed to go. I had to, I had to transfer to another train. Long story short, it took a long time for me to get to the hotel and I was tired. I was all sweaty, my shirt was soaking wet. So I decided, all right, I'm gonna go take a shower, which was cool. There's two things that were cool about this room. The shower had serious water pressure and it felt great. And the bed's all right. But the place is weird, man, weird. So, <laughs> so I take a shower and I get some clean clothes on and I'm gonna go out for, uh, I'm gonna go find some food, I'm hungry. Been a long day. So I start heading for the door, right? I, I come out. I come out and I'm heading for the door and the, and the hotel clerk stops me and he says, where are you going? I said, well, I'm, I'm gonna go out and go get some food. I goes, oh no. He goes, I'm gonna lock the door. I said, what do, you, <laughs> what do you mean you're gonna lock the door? He goes, yeah, 11 o'clock, I locked the door. If you're outside, you can't come back in. What? He says, yeah. So I couldn't leave. I said, so I had to like go find a KK, which is kind of like a 7-Eleven. I said, look, give me, give me 15 minutes, man. I gotta go find something. So I come back, what I found out is this dude locks the building and leaves and you can't get in or out of the building. I'm locked into the building at night, right? So I asked the guy, I says, hey man, what if there's a fire? He says, oh no, no, no fire. That's the response, so what a shithole, man. I don't know if that's normal in Malaysia, but I'm being locked into a, a freaking hotel in a room that looks kind of like a jail cell. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Fucking Malaysia. Uh, you know, the whole reason for coming here was I needed to get a visa stamp. I gotta get out of Thailand and then I can turn around and come back to Thailand and finish off three more months. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. The, the, the kind of shit that I run into, who rents a hotel room and then they lock you in? That, that's, that's not normal, man. And if I'm out past curfew, like 11, he locks me out. I can't get back into the room. So I can't just go be bopping around, do whatever I want. I, you know, I'm always con cognizant of what time it is because the dude's gonna lock me out. <clears throat> I've had one night of that. I'm kind of stuck here. I've been trying to find another hotel. I'm, I got I got tonight and, and I'm leaving. Anyway. This is Kuala Lumpur. I seen the. Can't think of what they're called, but there's some great big towers here. Anyway, this is Kuala Lumpur. What a shit show, man. It'd be like going to, well, I was gonna say it'd be like going to New York. Yeah, it's kinda like going to New York, all shitty. So I'm heading to the, uh, I don't know what, I'm heading out of Kuala Lumpur, that's for sure. I got four more nights that I gotta, I gotta hang around. I, 
my flight doesn't go back until until the third and uh, anyway I'm getting out of this city and I'm definitely getting out of a hotel that locks you in fuck that You're whooping somebody's ass <laughs> Malaysia. All right, guys. <laughs> Just some weird shit. It's hot. I'm not in the mood for any crap. Finally making it out of Kuala Lumpur. This has not been a good experience. That's the city. I crawled out of the city somewhere over there. Getting on this rail line and heading back to the airport. Anyway, I've been so sick. I've been so sick. I was in I was in bed in this hotel room for four days straight, and uh, finally got enough strength to get up and get out of there. I don't think I'll be coming back here. I'm going back to Thailand to recover.